test. Test, test. Good evening, and welcome to Little Flower Church. Tonight, we celebrate a special liturgy remembering the deceased members and relatives of the Little Flower Parish community. We come together to celebrate the new life given by Christ to those we love. While we remember them with sadness, for they are no longer physically present to us, we rejoice knowing that they may now live forever in God's tender embrace. God is a God of the living and the dead, remembering everyone and everything, even things we have long forgotten. In speaking aloud the names of our beloved dead, they live on in our memories. When their names are called, a member of their family or a friend will come forward with a lit candle and place it at the table that has been prepared. You are asked to join in the refrain printed in your worship aid that will be sung during this candle procession. Please remain seated as Father Bob processes in and we have our candle procession.
October 2021, Michael Corcoran. October 2023, John Barton Jr. Nella Delaney Fox. November 2023, Charlie Goodman. December 2023, Emma Bixler. Sheila Corcoran. January 2024, Ray Riley. Bobby Lawless. February 2024, Robert Tanazovich. March 2024, Imogene Beckner. John Bruce II. April 2024, Susan Hendricks. June of 2024, Paul Georgescu Sr. Helena Ricky. Catherine Craig. Marty Tamer, Linda Hedges, July of twenty twenty four. Meryl Blackwell, Jane Bell, Joe Shaler, Patrick Heidelberger, August twenty twenty four, Tom Griffin. Patricia Nillis, Carol Walker,
September 2024, Mark Payton. Judy Steffi. Dennis Morarity Sr. At this time, we remember by name and light candles for other family members and friends who have died. Helen Warner, Blaine Warner, Charles Comiskey, Christina Lynn Swindle, Venus Francis Campbell, Jenny Vanden Hoovel, John Kramer, Michelle Sizemore, Dale Ryan Pitcock, Sister Julianne Babcock, Bill Babcock, Marilyn Jones, Teresa Eckridge, D. Johnson, Donna Nunley, Alyssa Kopish, Jesse. Chico Kiros, David Oliva, Socorro Kiros, Irma Jean Payton, Mac Payton, Tracy Spear, Richard Shaler, Joni Markle, Terry Davis, Dodie Kell, Susan Arvin Williams, Pam Hess, Mickey Hoffman. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we want to welcome all of you who have come to celebrate this All Saints Day, this Mass of Remembrance with us. In a very special way, we want to welcome our visitors, especially those who lost a loved one in the past year. Let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life of the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Now let us give glory to God.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the abundance of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal. 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Distress. 
let us fear the Lord. May God's name be blessed. The Lord will hear the broken heart. God will seek the lost and find them. You who live in love shall never die. You who keep your word need never hide. For the Lord will seek the righteous soul. May the peace of God be your life and hope. The Lord will heal the broken heart. God will seek the lost and find them. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, 
for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate All Saints Day. And I think sometimes there's a misunderstanding concerning what it is we celebrate today. I think some people think we are just celebrating the collective of all the recognized saints in the church. And so, for example, today at our all school mass, we had the procession of saints. The fourth graders all dressed up as recognized saints. They processed in, and uh, it was told what this particular saint was a patron of. But that's not really the case. This is not just a collective feast. Today, we celebrate all those who have died and are now with God, all the saints, those who are recognized as well as those who are not recognized. What I think this means for us is that all of us probably have our own saints in heaven. Our loved ones, who really were good and holy people, who have gone ahead of us and are now living with God. You know, and I don't think we want to ever forget that. And of course, this is what makes tonight perfect night to celebrate our mass of remembrance for those in our own community particularly who died and were buried this past year. Most of the people who died, I celebrated their funerals, and at every funeral I celebrate, one of the questions I ask is, where do we go from here? And then I talk about, uh, first of all, that all of you have wonderful memories of your loved ones who have gone ahead of you. And I encourage you to continue to share those memories, because sharing those memories will keep the person alive in your minds and hearts and will help you heal the pain of your loss. And of course, in some cases, I add on, if, the case, if, it's, if it should be the case, you know, the old Irish blessing, may we never forget what is best for remembered or remember what is best forgotten. So I think tonight is a night of remembering. And I hope all of you, since the death of your loved one, I hope all of you have been thinking about remembering and sharing your memories of your uh, family member or friend or, or whatever. But secondly, that's not their only way of being present to us. As St. Paul wrote, the life and death of each of us has its influence on others. And so we want to also, as we celebrate this Mass of Remembrance, try to look into our own lives and hearts to think about the ways in which this person or these persons touched our life and influenced us. And the best way we can do that is by thinking about their best qualities. Because we know that to the extent that we live their best qualities in our lives, they will continue to be present to us. They will continue to touch others in the world through us. And then finally, we also believe that there is an unbreakable bond between the communion of saints in heaven, of which we believe and hope they're part, and the church here on earth, of which we're part. So what this means is that when they died, their love did not die for us, did not die with them, but rather was made eternal and perfect. What this means is that they are not present to us simply in our memories of them, or simply in the impact they had on us, but they continue to be present in spirit within and among us. And so I think that's what our celebration tonight is all about. It's worth looking for a moment at the readings, because I think we all have questions about what it means to be a saint in heaven. In our first reading, we're kind of told what it is that saints do. They spend their time in heaven praising God. They live in praise of God. The second thing, of course, is that we're called to uh, imitate them in our own lives, but especially uh, 
to realize that when we die, we are transformed into the likeness of the risen Christ. The second reading tells us that uh, we shall see him as he is and shall become like him because we see him as he is. And finally, of course, the Beatitudes are the qualities we're called to live in our lives, the qualities that Jesus held out to us as the qualities that qualify us for becoming part of the kingdom of God. So again, this is a wonderful evening, a wonderful evening to celebrate. I want to thank all of you who made a special effort to come to celebrate and remember your loved one. Um, I want to thank all those who are, have helped to make this the beautiful celebration it is. But as you leave tonight, you know, we, we, all, we do this once a year for all the people that perished the previous year. We don't want you to forget. You know, continue to remember. Continue to think about their impact on your lives. Continue to recognize their ongoing presence in your lives. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess what baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now let us pray that the prayers of all the saints will bring us God's love and forgiveness. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may we be inspired by the witness of the saints to rely upon God's mercy and providence as we strive to be faithful disciples. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring peace to the nations. Make our leaders wise, just, and honorable. And deliver us from terror, violence, and oppression. Lord, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christian homes, that they may be places where faith is nurtured and where we may learn to live our lives in holiness and righteousness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may reach out with comfort and support for all who have experienced the loss of loved ones during this past year. May we know the peace of the Lord through our actions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, may the saints in heaven intercede for us so that we may continue to grow in our faith and love for Jesus. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant that we may be brought to everlasting life with the faithful who have gone before us, who now rest from their labors, especially Bobby Lawless, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, Today, we rejoice in the holy men and women of every time and place. May their prayers bring us your forgiveness and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our gift bearers this evening are Vincent Delaney, Michael Delaney, and Denise Delaney Haggerty.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that, just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today, <clears throat> by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the Church to whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim <coughs> by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Therese, the little flower, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassionate, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all, <coughs> and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. At the, Savior, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed, blessed the ones who make peace. Blessed are they who know pain for the sake of righteousness. Blessed, blessed are you who know suffering. Blessed are you who know insult because of your
I'd like to remind everyone about the reception at the back of church after Mass, to which all are invited. Also, please, rem if you had a loved one who we were remembering tonight, please remember to take home the candle with your loved one's name on it. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Also, we want to thank the choir in a special way for being here tonight. So give them a hand. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Our closing song is number 884, For All the Saints. Number 884, we'll sing verses 1, 2, and 4. <laughs>